Hello and welcome to my channel, Family Tech, where you get all the tech tips, news, and information to help you understand and manage the technology in your home. If this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Today we're talking all about how to set up parental controls for a PC computer. So this is any Windows-based computer and we're going to use Windows built-in parental controls called Microsoft Family Safety. Now, if you have an Xbox or anything like that, you also can use Microsoft Family Safety to manage that Xbox. So it's going to be able to manage a PC or an Xbox, basically any Microsoft products. So let's dig right into how to get that set up. If you do find this video useful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Give me a like and subscribe to this channel. That helps me understand what you guys are interested in learning on my channel. So that'll help me out and help me decide what other content to create. So let's get right into it. Now to set up Microsoft Family Safety, first you'll need to log into the computer with your own Microsoft account. So this would be an adult or parent Microsoft account. Generally, if you've had the computer for a while, you already have this logged in, but you might have a local account instead of a Microsoft account. So in order to check this out, go ahead and tap the Windows icon and type accounts and see what kind of account you have. If it has your email address listed there, then it is a Microsoft account. It doesn't have to be an outlook.com account or a Hotmail account. Um, you can have a Microsoft account like with your Gmail account, Yahoo, any other email platform, you can create a Microsoft account with that. So let's make sure that you are an administrator on the device and that you have a Microsoft account logged in. If you go back to accounts, here is where you can add additional accounts to the computer. So go ahead and tap family to create additional accounts. Add someone. And if they don't already have a Microsoft account, you can create one here for your child. You can give them a username and you can choose either outlook.com or hotmail.com. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Go ahead and hit next, create a password, and then go ahead and hit next. Enter, enter your child's first and last name and hit next. And let's give them a birthday. Okay, they are good to go. Go ahead and close and you can manage your family here and you can see all of the different members of that family. So you can make sure they can sign in. And we'll go into different settings in just a minute. So let's go ahead and log out of your profile. And let's log in with our new account. You can enter a PIN so it's easier for your child to sign into the computer. And now they should show up in your Microsoft Family Safety account. It might take a minute for it to show up in the app, but once it does, go ahead and tap on the user account. And then you can tap on screen time manage. And if you want to just lock it at any given time, go ahead and do quick actions and toggle it on to lock the device. It will say time for a break. If the child wants to request more time, and this is also what happens when the device runs out of time for the day. Request more time. I will get a notification and I can grant more time. A 
and then it unlocks. Now that your kid's account is on the device and the device is associated with your child's account, you can manage all of the settings directly from your phone. So you don't have to even be in the house in order to grant time, block access, or do all of those things that you can do through this management app on your phone. So go ahead and download and install the Microsoft Family Safety app on your phone. It's available on iOS and Android devices. Once you've logged in with your Microsoft account, all of the children's accounts that you have created should be listed. So if you have multiple children that want to use the same computer, you can go through the same exact process on the computer to add another child. Or if they have their own individual devices, you would log into your admin account, your parent account to that device first, and then you would log in with the child's account to connect the device to their Microsoft account. Now that your children are all listed in the Microsoft Family Safety app, you can do any number of things in order to control the laptop. First, let's look at the screen time settings. So you can come in here and limit the screen time for the laptop or PC to an hour a day, two hours a day, 20 minutes a day, whatever you would like. And you can copy that to all of the different days of the week or you can set individual time limits for individual days of the week. Say you guys are really busy on Mondays, so you wanna give them less time on a Monday, but you've got more time for them on a Wednesday. Maybe they have an early out on school, so you're gonna give them a little bit more time on a Wednesday. So you can set individual time limits for individual days, or you can set all of the days to be the same time limit with just one click of the button if you tap right up here. Once you've set up the time limits for the general computer, you can also set up time limits for individual apps or games. If you only want them to play Roblox or something for 30 minutes a day, you can set that right in here in the apps and games area. This will block them out of that application after that time limit is up, but they will still be able to use the entire computer for other applications. The next thing you'll see here is web activity. Since Edge is a Microsoft product. It is only able to track web activity through Microsoft Edge. So what I would do is block the ability to install any other browsers and force them into using Edge. Now Edge is actually a really great browser. It is built on Google Chrome. So it does have a lot of the similar extensions and use case as Google Chrome. So if something doesn't work right, and needs to be in Google Chrome, generally it will also work in Microsoft Edge. So in this area, you'll be able to set some web and search filters, which will hopefully filter out most of the inappropriate site that might come in your search result. You can also set it to just allow specific sites. So if you want to do safe list only websites, then you can set that right in here. Or if there are some websites that are being blocked, you can allow them. Or if there's some websites that are allowed, you can block them. There's also a new setting called only allow educational sites. Now this is AI generated lists of educational sites. So it is still in this beta testing phase, but you can go ahead and allow that and see if that really does limit them to just educational sites. Now I will say that YouTube could be considered educational. I'm not sure if it's on this list, but again, you can go in and manually block any sites that end up on this list. And then as your child browses through the internet through Microsoft Edge, you will see a report here of all of the sites that they have been visiting. Also see a report of any flagged search terms. So if they search for something that might not be appropriate, it will be flagged in here or just general search terms that they have used inside of Microsoft Edge. The last section in here is the content filters. So you can set an age level for different filters. So through the web, through the app store and all of those items that will adhere to this age group content filter. This will also set a number of blocked apps automatically, which most of them are browser-based apps like 
Google Chrome, DuckDuckGo, or any other types of browsers that can get them to the internet outside of Microsoft Edge, which would be the filtered and monitored area. But again, if there are any apps or games that you would like to block or specifically allow, so say an app is rated for over the age of 14, but your content filter is for 11 and under, then you can manually allow that app. Or if there's an app that is allowed for 11 and under, you can manually block that app. So as you can see, there is a lot that you can do with a PC, with regards to parental controls, I love being able to shut it down at any time or set time limits because as my children reach that time limit, they can come and ask me for more time. Um, I can check and see if they've done their chores, if they've done their homework, all of those things. And so it allows them to take natural breaks as well. So I will generally set like an hour time limit and then just allow time throughout the day if all of their other duties are completed or just to give them a break from time to time. So if you have any questions about Microsoft's built-in parental controls, go ahead and pop those in the comments. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Thank you so much for joining. Again, if you liked this content, if you found it useful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to this channel. If you can reach out to me on all social media platforms, my username is Family Tech on all platforms. We will see you next time.